sacred goddess Hecate, help me manifest justice in my actions, temperance in my soul, courage in my choices, wisdom in my words, and compassion towards all beings. Hi, it's Renee Olson. I am the News River Witch, and I'm here with your cuppa and cards. This week, we are going to be looking at the um, five virtues. Specifically, we're gonna be talking about compassion. So we're gonna get started with that in just a moment. This morning, I have chai tea. Um, it is one of my favorites. Mm. It is definitely one of my favorite teas. I also have another surprise to share. My cards came in. So these are a some additional cards. It's going to be a add-on to uh, the Crossroads Oracle. So this is how they look. I'm absolutely thrilled with how they turned out. So there's another one. And then I'll show you one more. And as I mentioned, these are going to be a supplemental deck to the um, Crossroads Oracle that's already on my website. Um, I'm going to send out a copy of this to anyone who purchased a deck already. They'll get the supplemental cards um, for no charge. And uh, then I will add these to the rest of the decks that are there um, that'll be ready for purchase. So super excited about that. Um, okay, so um, I wanted to talk to you today about courage. Um, courage is one of the five virtues. Now, um, just as a recap, last time we covered compassion and um, we talked about how it relates to the goddess Hecate and how you can bring compassion into your life um, on in this modern world. Um, right now, um, well, let's talk about this for a second. So what are the five virtues, right? The five virtues are um, compassion, courage, temperance, justice, and wisdom. Um, those uh, words were selected by a group of us in around 2013 um, for the coming of Hecate. We sat down and decided as a project to work on these five virtues. The prayer that I recited earlier was part of that and it is uh, a creation of the Covenant of Hecate. Um, sorry, I needed a little drink. Um, so what we're gonna be talking about now is, is, is courage, and what does it mean to have courage? How does it relate to the goddess? And how do we bring courage into our daily lives in a modern world? You know, it's not like we're going out fighting lions anymore, right? At least I hope we're not. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna just look at, first of all, what is courage, right? What does it mean to be courageous? Um, there's, there's any number of ways to be courageous. A lot of times people say, well, it means standing up to things, you know, being not being afraid. And I always challenge that, right? I challenge that notion because I don't believe that it's um, standing up to things, right? It, it's even, it, it, it's not not being afraid. It's standing up to something even if you are afraid. That's what courage is. Courage is when you are in a situation that, you know, may be a challenge. It may be something that, that you're unfamiliar with and you steadfast right? You stand your ground. Um, an example of this might be um, if you're, you know, doing a particular thing that's against the grain, right? Let's say you're working in AI or, you know, you're a vegan, right? I am a vegan and any number of times I will, you know, ask a question, is this vegan? Do you have something vegan? And immediately it's, ah, I mean, I really think that attacking vegans is like really fun for most people. Um, and there's any number of ways that, I, I mean, I'll post, I'm having some vegan ice cream. And they're like, why are you saying it's vegan ice cream? And if, then if I post, I'm having ice cream, they're like, oh, I thought you were vegan. <laughs> so, you know, while not one of the most, um, I don't know, 
courageous situations, it is a way of showing courage. And I'm kind of just using that as a metaphor so you can really, or not as a metaphor, but as an example of how you could do it. Um, taking part in a protest, right? Whether it be Black Lives Matter or for LGBT or for immigrants, um, any of those types of situations. Um, going to um, areas that are uh, un that are underserved, some of our underserved communities that may need more attention, maybe trying to help those with drug addiction. Um, some of those types of situations would be putting yourself in harm's way. So that would be another way that you could, you could, you know, show courage. Courage is facing adversity with strength. It's standing up for what is right and it's taking risks for the greater good. For me, um, I think that courage is all about having strength in your path, right? When, when you are um, walking your path and it diverges, perhaps being a pagan, right? Maybe, or being in a non-traditional, and I'm gonna say traditional, I mean a non-Abrahamic religion, you know, outside of Christianity or being a Muslim or, or Jewish. Um, so those types of situations might be you know, when you decided you were going to step away from organized religion and become either a heathen or a Hecatean or whatever, whatever your path may be. Um, what I found absolutely hilarious uh, when I was small, um, being a, a small child, being the oldest, you know, I was always the one in charge of taking care of my siblings and, you know, doing the things because I was the oldest and I was grown. Um, not really. Um, one, one time when I was very, very young, I was walking to my grandmother's house. Um, I forget exactly where we lived, but I was walking down, there was this long dirt road. We lived at the end of the dirt road and at the other end was my grandmother's trailer. And I was walking down to the, to the, uh, to her trailer. And for some reason, I, it just got fixed up, fixated in my mind that there were, if I could sing a song, and walk that I wouldn't be I wouldn't be hurt that no one would hurt me and what was really funny is that it was a song by uh, I don't I'm gonna date myself his name was Charlie Pride and he was a country music singer and he had this song that came on it was uh, when the snakes crawl at night and it's just like when the snakes crawl at night then what is it? The snakes come, we'll play. I forget. Anyway, I can't sing it now. But he, this song was so cute because basically I was thinking that the grass was really high on each side. And I was thinking if I could sing this song, you know, oh, the snakes crawl at night. That's what they say when the sun goes down. The snakes will play. And I, I would think, you know, this song obviously was a love triangle situation. <laughs> but me as a small child, I honestly thought that if I sang this song, that none of the, the snakes would not be, no one would hurt me. I would be safe getting to where I was. So I would sing it all the way down and I sang it all the way back. It was just hilarious to me. And for some reason, this song got me, made me courageous. It helped me be strong. And what's interesting is that even today, this of active singing, right? This whole goes back to that whole conversation I was having with, um, with Elijah about um, losing my voice and not being able to sing and being told, you can't sing, you can't sing. And when he told me I could sing, then it made me open up and become able to even sit here and have this conversation or record these, these um, YouTube videos. So it's very powerful for me. Courage can manifest itself every day through everyday actions, um, just for standing up to defend people who can't defend themselves, for speaking out against injustices or making the decision to honor really what's inside you, right? Every day I see, <clears throat> I have a friend on, on Facebook, I've known him for decades, and um, he is always standing up for other people. He is always, you know, he likes to say he's always in Facebook jail. He is. <laughs> he has gone several times, but he is forever, you know, posting and, and le sending out the words that, you know, 
there are people who are less fortunate, people who have drug addiction, people who have, you know, who don't have access to, to you know, medical care or to even to food. Um, and he's always being that voice. And that's one thing that you can do as, as a way to show courage, right? Is to continue to be that voice for those people. So what is, what, how does Hecate relate to this? How is Hecate involved in courage? So I have three examples that I wrote down and I'm just gonna mention again, I do have a prompt in front of me to help me remember where we're going. And I'm calling this out because there, I'm neurodivergent and there are times when I will start talking and pretty soon we're talking about something that I don't need to be talking about. So I wanna stay on task and I wanna stay on topic so I do have them here. Um, and if you're a person who, who needs this type of material, don't feel bad about it. Get what you need to help get you through. Um, that's what I do. Um, so <clears throat> back to this. Um, so as a God, right, we know that Hecate is a God in the underworld. We know that she helps the souls navigate the afterlife that you know, this particular role would require courage as, you know, she's standing as protector and guard in one of the darker realms um, that, that are here. I mean, granted it's her realm, um, but I feel, I, I can see where we would think as humans that we could associate um, her with this particular aspect. Another way that she's um, representative of courage is her battle. Um, her, she, you know, fought alongside the Olympians against the Titans. Um, that had to take a massive amount of courage for her to do that. You know, to stand up and say, you know, I'm going to take this side and then move forward with it. You know, it takes a lot. It's, it's kind of like being against your parents, right? Um, and then finally, her role as a liminal goddess, right? being there to help us make the right decision, to guide us through, you know, that area of the crossroads that we need to go to or that metaphoric spot where where we are to make a decision. And that may require that act of courage. So what do you think about that? How, how do you see this? Are there stories or myth that you associate with? that you know, she may be called upon. I think there's a couple about Medea, at least, who, who did call on her for courage. Um, and that was in uh, the Argonauts, I believe, the Golden Fleece, yeah. Um, and then there was another one where she was also uh, assisting another person. I can't recall it off the top of my head. I probably should have jot, wrote that down, but maybe you know of it. Tell me about it. Let, let's hear what you have to say. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, let me just get a little bit of this tea. Where's your tea? Do you have it? I slurped my tea, y'all. Okay, so where are we right now? We are looking at bringing this courage into the modern world. Now, we talked about it already a little bit. So I'm going to just go through some that I think might be ways, right? Um, some examples of courage in action, of course, are advocacy, right? Standing up for social justices and speaking out against inequality. Um, you could join your company's DEI council. You could um, create your own inclusion council. You could find ways to support um, those who you feel need supported, like maybe, you know, go to black owned businesses, um, look for, um, native, uh, native groups to buy your sage from instead of buying it from Target or at Amazon. Um, sorry, Target and Amazon. Anyway, not really. <laughs> um, <clears throat> find ways to bring, um, bring visibility to those who are for the most part, invisible. Um, find a way to contribute to causes that help uh, further or help improve the current situations of those people. Um, that's definitely one way to do it. Another way to do it is through personal growth, right? Find a way to help yourself grow and evolve. Find ways to change. Don't stop learning. Get uncomfortable. Have those conversations with the uncle that's the racist or, you know, the, the womanizer down the street or whatever. Safely, 
safely. You want to have those conversations safely. Um, but find ways to, to take your own growth to another level. You know, go to a class about African art, right? Learn about your area. There's a, a website, I think it's land.ca, um, and I'll check on that for you. But you can look up the land that you currently live on. You can put your address in, and it'll tell you what tribe lived there on that property that you're currently living on. Um, learn about that tribe. You know, find out information about them. Go to museums. Um, involve yourself in that culture that'll help you learn more about, you know, those people that were there before you. For, my, for the uh, deck that I did, the uh, New Stripper Witch, the River Witch Oracle, um, there is a lot of, this deck was inspired really by the um, Catawba and by the Lumbee, um, who are both tribes that were here um, in, in Eastern North Carolina. Um, their energy was part of this. Um, the uh, Africans who were pulled from their homes and enslaved and helped build this country um, were inspired by this. And I spent many, many hours researching and getting lots of information and trying to fully understand the ins and outs of it. <clears throat> In that personal growth, admit when you're wrong. If you, if you learn something, that's a good thing, right? If you're coming from a place where you you used to act a certain way and you're different now because of things you've learned, that's growth. And that's what you want. You want to grow and you want to learn. The next thing you can do is try facing some of your fears, right? Conquering a personal or maybe a spiritual fear. If there's something that you wanted to accomplish, public speaking or um, maybe um, learning a new language or getting involved with your community. Um, any of those kinds of things would help you um, just draw in that courage or become more courageous. Uh, another way that you could do this is through leadership. Um, getting involved in your community by um, either joining the PTA or you know joining your city council or running for office. Um, get involved in a leadership role so that you're out there in the forefront helping make decisions and help guiding people through challenges. Um, one thing that you could do too is when there's um, storms, you could certainly get involved in cleanup efforts for that. You could go down and volunteer at the local soup kitchen or find out what they what you could do to help um, if you wanted to get involved with the police force. You could certainly do that as well. Um, there's any number of ways through that leadership role, you know, consider starting a group. You know, you could just start with a small, a group on Facebook, and then let it grow. Um, <clears throat> I found that sometimes leadership can be scary, right? Sometimes it can be scary, and sometimes it feels like there's a lot going on around you. But if you take your time and if you be true to who you are, don't try to be someone you're not. Right? I don't come on here and act like I can memorize all of these things. I don't have fancy lights or fancy editing equipment. No, it's just me and my iPhone and my tea and my notes. And that's it. And I talk to you from the heart. I talk to you like you're here with me and I treat you as an equal. And I think those things are important. And, and it takes a lot of courage to do that. So I'm showing courage just by getting my voice, which I've only had apparently for like the last three months, um, getting my voice out there and hoping that I can help someone else um, by doing it. So as we wrap it up, right, wrap up this talk on courage, um, courage is one of the core virtues of Hecate. Um, it, it embodies our, it, emp it empowers us to face life's challenges um, with strength and resolve. Um, after reflecting on this, I'd love for you to write in the comments or send me a message. We can also talk on the COH website. This will be available there. Um, so we can have that discussion, that forum there. You can do it on uh, my website on uh, Hecate or uh, HecateBremo.org. 
sorry, train of thought lost. You saw me, right? Blank out. It happens sometimes. Um, it's very annoying. I, anyway, I digress. See, that's what happened. Back to your notes, Renee. Um, so yeah, tell me, tell me about how courage has impacted you or when you've had to show courage, you know, times in your life. Um, and just as Hecate guides the souls through darkness with courage, may we all find the strength to walk our own paths bravely. So I want to thank you for your attention for this. And now we're going to pull a card. So we're going to pull a card from the River Witch Oracle. Um, I am going to shuffle them a little. And now I'm going to pull your card. And I'm going to hold it up for you. So let me back it up a little bit. I do have my camera in a different place today, so I'm not really adjusted on the space. Today's card is a longleaf pine. The key words are endurance, legacy, and renewal. So when we think about this card, the longleaf pine is the state tree of North Carolina. And I have a bazillion of them on the property here. Um, I'll have to go out there and take some pictures. Ooh, if you watch my shorts, you will see the pine trees behind me. There are so many of them. Um, our first word is endurance. So this is just the ability to hang in there and keep going. You know, keep chugging along. You can do whatever you put your mind to. You just gotta keep going. Um, the next word is legacy. And legacy is going to be what we leave, right? What we leave for those that come after us. What are you leaving for them? What What is that thing? that they're gonna be able to look at and say, you know, that's that whole, I was here, right? Um, or, yeah. So what are you leaving? What are you gonna be telling them? And the last word is renewal. And renewal is that regrowth. It's when we bring that energy forward. We are inhaling, we're exhaling, we're coming forward with that positive energy so that we can start again right so that's our card for today and we'll hold it up for you again that's a long leaf pine and i hope you've enjoyed this reading today if you have questions or you want to uh, talk about the uh, poll for today or want to go over this courage uh this courage virtue i'd love to hear from you um, I do have a class on my website that is the Exploring the Five Virtues of Hecate. That is certainly available. Um, and that's on uh, hecatebromo.org. Um, and I think that's going to be all for the day. I think I need some more tea and I need to wake up a little bit because, my goodness, I am just, I don't know, I think maybe the music. I don't know. But I'm super excited about my cards. I'll be sharing those with you soon. I hope that you have a glorious day today. Talk to you soon.